Which brings me to the second ruling that we got from the Florida Supreme Court this week. It effectively allows voters in November to decide if they want a constitutional amendment protecting the right to abortion. Can you talk about what this ballot initiative is? I would love to. Um, so this is under the organization of Floridians Protecting Freedom, which was a, a ballot initiative that was launched in May of last year. Within that six month time frame, the campaign with the support of grassroots volunteers, myself included, helped to collect more than a million verified signatures to reach the threshold to be on the 2024 ballot. And then Attorney General Ashley Moody tried to stop the will of the voters by objecting to the language within this a ballot initiative saying that it was vague and unclear. Knowing we have a conservative Supreme Court, uh, there was a, a lot of uncertainty of what would happen. And I want to also stress, I mean, this court basically went on a six to one decision in favor of that 15 week abortion ban we just discussed, but then was a four three in supporting this ballot initiative and in saying that the language is clear for voters to understand its intent. And so that was the second decision yesterday, uh, earlier this week, was basically saying that we can't continue on in uh, this ballot initiative. The voters will have a say. So despite efforts by Republican Attorney General Ashley Moody, by Governor Ron DeSantis, who appointed these justices, I, uh, the justices could not find any, any clear reason for objection. So the voters will get a chance to decide to codify abortion rights in our state constitution. Now, Florida does require a 60% threshold. So this is going to be a bipartisan campaign. In fact, about 35% of those signatures to get on the ballot were Republican registered voters in Florida. So I do feel confident we'll have that bipartisan support in November. I was just about to ask, I think Florida has among the strictest rules for passing ballot initiatives. 60% um, is among the highest in the country, is it not? You're absolutely right. There has been an intentional effort by the state legislature to make the process of amending our state constitution much more difficult. In fact, this session, there was an effort to increase that threshold to 66%. And the process has become much more expensive due to changes made by the legislature. So this is no easy feat. And even the campaign to collect the petitions was a multi-million dollar initiative. Despite help of volunteers, it still costs money. So we are expecting to see more fundraising as this is a grassroots campaign. It's funded by everyday people and uh, organizations that care about reproductive rights and freedom. In fact, the, the coalition behind Floridians Protecting Freedom is a, an amazing collection of, of nonpartisan grassroots organizations who just really deeply care about this issue and want to give voters the chance to decide.